Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We've done a lot of work on circumcenter, incenter, centroid, and orthocenter, and I did not want to neglect to um, show you something beautiful about these, these center points of triangles. This is something that was discovered by the Swiss, Swiss mathematician Euler, one of the most important figures in the history of mathematics. Among other achievements, um, Euler developed this notation, which you guys will be familiar with, this f of x notation, which allows us uh, to study mathematics much more efficiently. And so he was an innovator, um, and he also discovered several beautiful things about math, and one of them, one of them is what's called Euler's line. And what Euler discovered is that the circumcenter, the incenter, the centroid, and orthocenter of any triangle, doesn't matter what kind of triangle, um, they're all going to line up. And they'll, they'll, you can line them up uh, in a way that you can define using an equation in slope-intercept form. Um, I'm going to attach a little video on um, Euler's line uh, uh, to your feed here um, as well. But I want you to first look at, at the work we've done on this triangle here, triangle ABC. You're familiar with this triangle by now. We discovered the circumcenter already. It's at 6, 4. Here it is. We discovered the in-center. I had to adjust the um, one of the points on this a little bit, um, but it's right there. We discovered the centroid of the triangle. And in the orthocenter video, I used a different triangle because I wanted to show you a triangle that was um, uh, that had a center point that was actually outside the triangle. Um, but for this, this video, I went back, just to sort of show you here, we found the orthocenter of the triangle we've been working with all along. Here it is. You'll see it. It's at um, the point uh, 4, 6. You can also see um, the, um, the altitudes. Here's one altitude going from the uh, vertex A here in a way that's parallel, or not parallel, excuse me, perpendicular to line BC. We also have this more obvious altitude that goes from B and is perpendicular to line AC. And then finally we have an altitude going down from point C and that sits in perpendicular fashion to line um, AB or BA. So those are, those are the three altitudes in that triangle. Anyhow, back to Euler's line. Here's our, hopefully I've proved to you now that we do have an orthocenter that's right here at 4, 6. And what I want you to see is that these points, they line up just oh so nicely. I'm going to draw us our Euler's line for this triangle here. Um, it goes up, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Should pass through there. I'm going to draw it like that. Mm, wrong. Let's see. Let's go back here. Going to have to fiddle with this sometimes here. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, that looks better. There we go. I'm feeling much happier now. Here's our Euler's line for this triangle. And as you uh, may um, see, and if you haven't, I want you to sort of think about what's the equation of this line. And if you stop the video and figure it out, or maybe you can figure it out already, you'll see that the equation of the Euler's line for this particular triangle is y equals negative x plus 10. Now that's not going to be the same for every triangle, and I do encourage you to go look at the little um, video that I'm going to, as I said, attach to um, this lesson so that you can look at different Euler's lines for different triangles and satisfy yourself um, about this very beautiful property of mathematics.